Now I'm going to demonstrate how to use the perpendicular and coincident options with the reference plane tool. To do that effectively, I've drawn a sketch of a center line that is 2 inches long and at 45 degrees from this horizontal face, drawn right in the middle of this part. How I've done that is like so. I've sketched on the right plane and then I did the dimensions and relations as shown. So to use the perpendicular and coincident options with the reference plane, first we have to start a reference plane by going up to the Features tab of the Command Manager and clicking on Reference Geometry and then going to Plane. Then what we'll do is we'll select the line first. That is our first reference. If I go over to the Property Manager on the left, I can see that Line 1 at Sketch 8 is now my first reference and by default it says to make it coincident and we can see the effect of that. But what I'm going to do is say make perpendicular by clicking the perpendicular button. And now I can see a yellow plane that is exactly perpendicular to this center line. If we go back to the property man manager to see what it looks like it says select references and constraints. This is denoting that the plane is not yet fully defined. And that's because though this plane is perpendicular to the center line, it can still move along the center line. So to fully define it as my second reference, which we can see here in the property manager, as my second reference, I'm going to select the top point of this center line. Now the plane is forced to go through that point and be perpendicular to the, cent to the center line. This, as seen in the property manager, makes our plane fully defined. So to summarize, our first reference was the center line, which the plane has to be perpendicular to that center line. Our second reference was the top point of the center line, and our plane has to be coincident with that top point. These two re references with these two constraints fully defines our plane, and we can confirm the reference plane. And now we have a plane here, which I can sketch on and do whatever I want with it. I'm going to do an example hexagon to illustrate what types of features can be done by creating this plane. 